Okay, so this is a video for the loan associate at Integrity Capital with respect to some cold call training. We've had another video on cold calling. We might have a few, but this one is, is dealing with sort of methodology, philosophy, um, things that I think we should be cognizant of. And I think it's important before you even start cold calling to understand the uh, maybe attitude behind cold calling uh, with respect to the fact that you should be confident uh, but also collected um, in your demeanor. So calm but confident. So what I mean by calm is that you're just not riled up or you're reading a script or you're, you're sort of jittery but you're just being who you are your own personality, but you're confident in the sense that you have a lot to offer. Um, and so don't be worried about uh, rejection or getting no's or anything that uh, falls within that sort of head trash, as we call it. Um, because cold calling is not always fun, but it's necessary for your own long-term success and to find the right kind of people. That's the second thing I want you to really remember is that you're trying to find the right people not everybody, but the right kind of people. People that have the right demeanor, the right temperament, the right attitude, that fall into that high integrity, high connector, high giver, somebody that you're gonna have a good long-term relationship with that fits within the profile of some of the other videos we've talked about, some of the other methodology that we have in order to ascertain success with cold calling. So just remember that uh, we're going for the no, we're going for the right kind of people. When you're making a call, I think it's important to understand a few things, especially when it comes to talking to commercial brokers, is you first want to start off just by a quick introduction. Hi, my name is Dave with Integrity Capital or Commercial Mortgage Finance Company. And the second piece of that is that you have done maybe a little bit of research on them, if it's possible, um, so that you can mention something. Hey, I noticed that XYZ. I noticed that you were the um, top producer in 2019 or 20. Um, I noticed this accolade you have. Something that you can mention that's specific, because specific is terrific. And so just make sure that you mention that uh, to them. It's a great way just to um, show that you've done some homework. It's, a, it's impressive. Um, and then you just immediately dive into asking them a question. What's really working for you right now or you know, what are you having the most success in, in your space, in your lane? Um, let them go into some of their own successes real fast. And just listen, gather information. And then once you've heard and they slow down and stop, then what I would really start diving into is the next question, if it's possible, to just say, what is it that you feel like you need most when it comes to financing? Or, what areas can, can be of most value to you when it comes to financing? And then just listen. Um, they might start asking you questions, and it's a great opportunity to share some of the things we do. And then you can go into some of the specifics on deals that we've closed, things that we've done before, so that you can have success in showing them. Being different, not just showing loan products, but maybe deals we've closed as well. And then finally, as you land the plane on the call, it's, they're not going to be long calls, but when you land the plane on the call, you're really trying to do something specific as a follow-up uh, to see if this is really somebody that you're going to have a relationship with or follow-up. Go for the ask. Say, is there a time that we can maybe go grab a coffee? Um, if they are not open to that at all, you know, I'm not saying it's not going to be a relationship, but it's something that you might not follow up with that much. Um, if you can't get that, you might ask, you know, what's a good time for me to follow up with? You're trying to get a sense for if they really have an attitude or somebody that you could follow up with in the future uh, for success. So be persistent, um, have the right attitude, ask good questions. Um, don't be ashamed of what it is that we have to offer because it's a lot. And so that's just some cold calling techniques and tips when you're reaching out to commercial brokers uh, for the loan associate.